if you go to the market of weapons, one missile is cost 200,000 US dollar. But now America is selling that one missile to Ukraine 400,000 US dollar, one missile. If Ukraine shoot one missile, they have to pay America 400 US dollar if they shoot one missile. And Ukraine was asking to shoot. When they were begging America, they wanted to shoot 40 missiles in a day. So calculate it. 400,000 US dollar times 40. Can Ukraine pay for that? If America is ready to help Ukraine, why are they telling Ukraine to pay for the missiles that they are giving them? One missile, if you go to the weapon market, is cost, it costs 200,000 $200, US dollar. But now, America is selling it to Ukraine with a sum of 400,000 US dollar. Let's go. People think this war is just a joke, and people are just blabbing. When I made that video, many people were saying, oh, Russia will fall down, Russia will fall down. Which Russia will fall down? Do you even know what is happening? I even see some people, some Africans who are even living in Africa, they don't even know nothing about Europe. They don't even know nothing about this war. They are just blabbing, making comments, telling me that, hey, okay, we will. you are in Africa. You, you are suffering there. You can't even do nothing about your own country. You are complaining to me. You are insulting me in my comment section. You, when, you are, when you are in Africa, they are suffering. Your leaders are making you suffer. You can't do nothing about that. Now you are, you are fighting. You become a man when it came to European war. When those Europeans were the one making war in your country every day. But you can't do nothing about it. But today, you are insulting me because I am saying that Vladimir Putin is going to win. Because I said that NATO can't do nothing to Vladimir Putin. An African, you are sitting in Africa, you are commenting rubbish under my video insulting me because of that. I am in support of Vladimir Putin and I make it very clear to everyone from the beginning. I am in support of whatever, whatever is happening to them. I am in support of it. And I am never going to pray for the war to stop in Europe. I am never going to pray for it. Why am I going to pray for it? Why? When they have made more many wars in my countries, in my African countries, and you expect me to sit here and have pity? You, have, you expect me to sit here and pray for them? What, what kind of Africans are you? As an African, you came to my, under my comment sections insulting me. Because of I say Vladimir Putin will win the war. Because of I say NATO can do nothing to Vladimir Putin. Do you know what NATO plan against Africa? You don't even know. You are sitting in Africa so far and there without no job opportunity. Your all your natural resources, your gas, your oil, your fuel, they are stealing all from you. You are there supporting them, still wanted to die for them. When it came to your own country, you are you become a woman. When it came to white man country, you become a man in social media. Blabbing. You are not happy that they are having the same problem they give you for a very long time. They have been giving you wars in your countries, in your African countries. You are not happy that they are, the table is turning. They are still facing the same way. You, they make you suffer. You are not happy about that as an African. But you are fighting your fellow African because he is feeling happy that the table is now turning around. I am a man who will never feel afraid to stand and say, they cause many wars in Africa and I'm, I will be happy to see them facing more war. I am an African who will never be afraid to say that. If our leaders are afraid to tell them that we are never gonna put our, our, our mouth in your wall, we are, and we are never gonna help you, I am going to say, we don't care about whatever happened to them. If war happened, let it happen in their countries. Because they have caused many wars in our countries. They caused war in Syria, in Yemen, in Iran, in, in, in Ethiopia, in Cameroon, in Sierra Leone, in Burkina Faso, in Mali, in Niger. They caused war in all countries. Whatever is happening to Nigeria, do you think who caused it? They are the cause of it. They are supplying terrorist weapon every day. Every day. But now they are having the same problem. As an African black man, you are telling me that, no, yeah, Ukraine will win. We know Ukraine weapon and you are sitting in Africa. Instead of for you to look into your country with the problems that are there, you invaded them out. Let us solve it. Let us fight for the problems of our countries in Africa. You are here fighting me because I say NATO is just bribing. They can't do nothing to Russia. And that's the fact. Because how I many since 2021 NATO have been warning Russia they couldn't still fire even one missile. But people don't know what is what is going on. You are in Africa there. You don't even have good internet. They make even internet cost for you for you the Africans. So that you will not know what is going on in the world. They make internet cost for you. But in Europe, yeah, internet is very cheap. We get internet very cheap. You buy 10 euro internet or 7 euro internet. Full one month you will be using it. You can't finish it. But in Africa, go there. Can you buy 10 Naira internet and use it for full one month? Can you buy 10 Dalasi internet and use it for one month? Can you buy 10 cities of internet and use it for one month? No, it's not possible because they make your country, they make your currency more low for you to suffer. More and more. 
when you need internet in Africa, you have to spend millions of your money. You have to spend thousands of your currency, of your African currency. When they need internet in Europa, they use just 10, 10 euro, 7 euro, 6 euro for full one month. But to you, the Africans are not thinking of that. That is the problem of Africa. When you stand to fight for Africa, don't expect white people will fight you. Your own fellow Africans will stand and fight against you to see your damn fall. So I expect it. I'm not worried. I expect it. Because there are Africans who are an obstacle to African liberation. Who will become a big obstacle. And they will even be ready to die for white peoples and Africans. Who they know that they are suffering today. They are so because of their suffering. And because of it is Europeans, Americans and UK, the Western peoples. But today, if those Western people are in war. And African, you are sitting in Africa suffering. When you eat breakfast, you can't have lunch. When you eat lunch, you can't have dinner. You are there complaining. The little money you have, you buy it with internet just to come and support Western people in media. And those Western people make even internet costs in your country. But the little money you have, you buy internet instead of to use your brain to use that internet to capture something better for your own continent or your country in Africa. You are using it to against your fellow bloods and support. <laughs> May God forgive Africa. If not, we are going to be used by ourselves to destroy ourselves. I will be destroyed, I know, and I will be destroyed by a black man, not a white man. But I'm never worried to be destroyed by a black man because even if it happens, it will never be a surprise to me. Zelensky said NATO is weak. Why do Zelensky say NATO is weak? Why? Why do Zelensky say NATO is weak? Why do Zelensky came out to say NATO is weak? Because NATO have promised Zelensky, America have prom promised Zelensky, the Ukraine president, a NATO membership. That he should not feel afraid. They will give him a NATO membership. He should fight against Russia. They will give him a NATO membership. He should not worry. They will help him with weapons. Now the war is going to a part where nobody knows what will happen next. Now everybody is saying the Third World War is going to be gone. Everybody is afraid in Europe here. I'm in Europe and I know how much people are afraid. And even me, who I'm sitting here, I feel like the Third World War is, al is already begun. Just that people are not ready to tell us. Because I'm not seeing any way that Russia will be defeated in this war. I'm not seeing it. If anybody tell you that Russia will be defeated, they are fooling you. They are just trying to t steal your attention. But it can happen. It can never happen. I'm not seeing any way. Anybody who is intelligent, they will tell you. I saw a Ukraine soldier who was making it very clear that Vladimir Putin cannot be win. He has all weapons. He has some weapons that have never been used. He is not even using the latest weapons that he has. He is just using the, 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 the training uh, weapons. The weapons he don't need. The weapons that are expired. He even use, even using. Russia is even using an expired weapon. This was from a Ukraine soldier who was saying that Vladimir Putin is using an expired weapons on Ukraine. He is not even using his latest uh, weapons. So what happened if Vladimir Putin fire nuclear? Do you think nuclear bomb is just like a missile? You throw it, you throw it destroy one city. Nuclear weapons destroy in a distance that half of the country go down. And nobody in this, no country in this world will raise their hand says that they have more nuclear weapons than Russia. So a man who is having more nuclear weapons than any other president in this world, you expect that that man will be defeated? When everybody is feeling afraid to attack him, when everybody is feeling afraid to even supply weapons to Ukraine because they are afraid that he may fire them, when the almighty America that is calling themselves the giant of the world is afraid now because Vladimir Putin is now in Cuba. In Cuba, that is very closer to America. Putin has sent his warship to Cuba. And Cuba is now collaborating and doing a, a, a collaboration with Cuba. Now Americans are afraid that if Vladimir Putin will not fire them. Nobody is telling you all these things. Why do I come here to make it this clear? Because when I make that little video, I have seen so many people who have been misled by Western media. Telling them that Western media is always populated. Do you think I didn't see the same thing that you see in Western media? I saw it always. That they are writing there that ah, Ukraine is winning. Ukraine fired Russia. Ukraine fired Moscow. Ukraine is winning Russia. I saw it always. But it's all fake. To make you believe that Ukraine is moving. To give you hope that Ukraine will win Russia. But it's impossible. Nobody in this world will tell you that they can win. Nobody can win Russia. It's not possible. Russia alone, nobody can win. And Russia is not alone in this war. It's not like Russia is standing alone. Russia is with Turkey. Russia is with Cuba. Russia is with China. Russia is with Brazil. All these countries are supporting Russia. And you think Russia will be defeated? 
you may be fooling yourself. Now Zelensky is understanding that NATO don't love Ukraine. Zelensky is now understanding that America don't love Ukraine. NATO says Ukraine can join. Ukraine can have the right to join NATO. Ukraine can join only when certain conditions are made. Now they are giving conditions to Ukraine to join. But before they were telling Ukraine that go on, make war, fight with Russia, we will give you NATO membership. But now they are giving them conditions. This is what NATO says. NATO Secretary General Yen, who is called Yen, the NATO Secretary General, who is called Yen, the General of NATO, the General Manager of NATO, is called Yen. Yen says the Alliance had never sent a strong political and practical and practical message about Ukraine parts to membership. This is the, the, the general of NATO who is saying this. He said that he said that the Alliance had never sent a strong political and, pro, uh, uh, and practical message about Ukraine part to membership of NATO. But Yang, the NATO Secretary General, had made it clear that Ukraine cannot join NATO while at war with Russia. And they are the ones who forced Ukraine to fight against Russia. This Yang who is speaking, the General, man, the general of, uh, of NATO, they were the ones who pushed Ukraine. Make war, we will give you membership. But now he is saying that Ukraine cannot join. That's what he is saying. He said Ukraine cannot join NATO while at war with Russia. So Ukraine have to finish war with Russia when they have already supplied Ukraine with weapons make the war more, more dangerous. Now they are saying that Ukraine cannot join unless they stop the war with Russia. Unless, as far as they are at war with Russia, they can't join NATO. When, when will that war stop? If they are already there supplying, supplying Ukraine with weapons to fire more and more. And Ukraine firing is not doing nothing to Russia. But when Russia do just five minute fire and it destroy more and more in Ukraine. I think now Zelensky will use his brain when they rejected him. They rejected him not long ago. Not long ago they rejected Zelensky from joining NATO. Not long ago. But I think now he will use his brain and know that NATO and America was pushing him in a danger and will sitting back and laughing at him. That is what is happening to him. But he, is not, he didn't understand before. But I think now he is understanding because Zelensky himself came out to speak about NATO. He said that NATO is very weak. Zelensky said this when they disappointed him. When they told him that you can't join until, until certain conditions have been made. And those conditions are the war between them and, Ukraine, and Russia have to be stopped. Then later they can look into their matter to see if Ukraine can still join. NATO and America are using Ukraine to build up their economy. When they lose the chances to build up their economy by African resources, because Russia have taken over all the African countries, now they are using Zelensky to use Ukraine natural resources in the exchange of weapons. They give weapons to Ukraine and took their natural resources. They, took, they, they give them weapons and, give, and, and took their monies. Now Ukraine currency is going down. Ukraine natural resources is going down. Ukraine economy is going down. And Americans, they are growing their economy with Ukraine. America cannot grow their economy without making war in another man country. NATO cannot grow up their NATO economy without making wars in another man land. This is why they have to push Ukraine into war, to use Ukraine as a tool to build up their economy. And this is what people fail to understand. That even NATO and America knows that Ukraine will never win over Russia. Even Zelensky knows it. Zelensky knows they can never win Russia. But Zelensky was confidently going into this war because America and NATO have fooled him that we will give you full support. So this makes Zelensky to get the ball to say that I must win and I will win Russia. Because this is what America have been telling them. Biden have been given a fully promise that they will support Ukraine. Ukraine will not be left alone in this war. But today, they are the peoples who are abandoning Ukraine and leaving Ukraine in the war. I pity innocent peoples are dying. But Zelensky is the one who is making decisions. And the person who is making decisions, Zelensky, is not understanding the game that America always play on peoples. America and NATO. 
Salansky is not understanding. They have been playing this game on Africa for a very long time when they want to grow with any African economy. They make war in that country. They make war in Sudan because they want to use Sudan economy. They make war in Ethiopia because they want to use their economy. They make war in Sierra Leone because they want to use their economy. They make wars in Burkina Faso in all other places in Africa. So we the Africans have been used to their system. We know the system they GGM, they play, but Ukraine Prime Minister didn't know. How can a comedian be used to that kind of system? Ukraine President Zelensky was a comedian and he became a president. A comedian, when he, that one became a president, he think like everything is a joke. It's just a movie. It is not a movie, we are in a reality. Okay, let's talk about this. Yang, the NATO Secretary General, had made it clear that Ukraine cannot join NATO while at war with Russia. A Arab editor, Katia Andelsen, the European editor, Katia Andelsen, says this report from the summit in Vilnius. Salansky was disappointed on NATO decisions. Salansky was very, very disappointed. Russia was sick, sailed into Havana in Cuba. Russia was sick, sailed into Cuba in a city called Havana. Listen very well. Cuba greet the ship, the Prosco, the first Russian naval, naval vessel to make an official visit in here with a cannon fire salute. It is just the latest sign of the forging of Titan between Russia and Cuba. Well, this is from the Cuba president. I'm not the one who said it, and it's not my own thinking. Whatever I'm going to say here is from the Cuba president. The Cuba president says, well, most of the rest of the world has denounced Russia for that invention of Ukraine. Cuba president Mag Michael Dance Cannell says, is alongside, is along with Putin on this. And, uh, uh, and they, are, they are all in, in a greeting a status of Fidel Castro. This is what uh, uh, the Cuba president said. In Moscow, in November, defend Russia war on the ground. He said, we are saying we are condemning, we are rejecting the expansion of NATO toward Russia, bo Russian border. He told Russia today, we condemn all the measures and sanctions that have been applied as a way to cause the Russian Federation. This is what the Cuba president says. And people are not understanding whatever is happening in this world. Maybe I may not be able to tell you whatever, because the world has more stories. I may not be able to tell you all, but I may be able to tell you the best standard that people who are making comments in, on my last video, making rubbish comments, to learn from my words, you know. I may not tell, I will never ever tell them lie. But in the Western media who is fooling them, as a black African, if you insult me sometimes, I see them as people who are going crazy. But it's really, really, really a pity on Ukraine. Russia is firing 20 to 30 cells a day in Ukraine right now. It takes the America a month just to produce an amount that is not even closer to what Russia is firing in a day. If Russia is firing 20 to 30,000 cells in a day in Ukraine, and America, who is pretending that they want to support Ukraine, they, it takes them a month just to reduce, just to produce an amount that is not even closer to what Russia is throwing in a day. Then guess how much Russia will make in a day? Or in a month? 